I think it's just a continuation of whatever we did last season and uh, uh, the boys I think now they are getting what they're supposed to do very well and uh, again I must say uh, good uh, big up to the players who came in uh, in the mid in the season in the end of the season uh, David uh, uh, we have Otanga we have uh, Wasambo, uh, we have uh, Crouch in the defence and Rama in defence. They are doing a very good job at the moment for the team and we hope that come next, uh, next year they'll keep on uh, working the same way they've been working this season. The notion of that I was a defender so I definitely have to play a defensive game. That's something I want to, to, to erase from people's minds. Because even look at last season, we scored uh, 10 goals in two games. We beat Sharks 5-0. Uh, the following weekend, we beat uh, Poster Rangers 5-1. So I think uh, it's all, uh, your strategy always depends with the type of players and the kind of players you have. At KCB, we are trying very much to be an attractive, attacking team. Why? Because we have so many attacking players. Look at somebody like David. David is a fullback, but you find him up front going to score. So you don't, if you have such players, you have players like Regan, we have players like Kmoas, we have players like Mutinda, who are defensive midfielders and at the same time they like going to attack. So you just have to, uh, to, to set up your team in, term, in, in such a way that they'll attack. And at the same time when you lose the ball, because you can't attack when you don't have the ball. You only attack when you have possession. When you don't have possession, then you have to defend. Then again, they have to be ready to defend as a group, not as individuals. And uh, defending is all about organization. It's not individual players, and that's why we are, we are, we are excelling in that area also. What I can say is that as a team, we had an objective coming into this league as a, as a team. And everybody is aware, the players are aware, we as a technical bench, we are aware. When you say uh, pay setters, we had people like uh, John Googie, uh, 10,000 meters, that's 25 plus, 25 laps. And he used to start going ahead until he finishes the race. So maybe you can think we are warming up the, the position, but uh, many people will be surprised. Leicester did it, so we can't see why we can't do it for, uh, in Kenya. So for now, we are just taking it easy in training, and uh, we'll start thinking about Bitco next week. As at now, you can see the mood, the players are enjoying themselves, and uh, we are not putting any pressure on them. But come next week now, we'll come up with a game plan on how we'll tackle Bitco. We know Bitco is a strong team. They even beat us in pre-season training. So uh, it's going to be a tough match, I know.